everyone, my name is Dark Ravnik and welcome back to Space Engineers, another shipyard showcase. This episode is The Oxbow by Cougarbait. What a name, Cougarbait, that is so cool no matter how you look at it. Cougarbait, I just love it. Anyway, this Oxbow is some um, a mining sort of mothership sort of thing. I've uh, looked it over, it could be great as a mobile base. I mean, this thing is magnificent been running around in for about the last 20 or so minutes just admiring it I love it already it's so cool looking and the inside is so cool looking I gotta show you guys what it's like on the inside I, I think this is all the cargo containers I haven't seen any more as I've been running around uh, plenty of uh well kind of plenty I mean I when I looked inside you know using the the bleh, when I looked inside using the camera, you know, looking inside the ship, uh, I couldn't, well, tell how many hydrogen tanks are in there. I probably should have actually just checked the bloody control panel, shouldn't I? Ah, it doesn't matter anyway. The, uh, it shouldn't consume too much hydrogen, it's just mainly these thrusters here, and they're, from what I can tell, they're just basically, get the hell out of there really fast thrusters, because, you know, you still got some normal thrusters, but if you're in a, you know, big ship like this and you want to protect it in case you're being swamped by enemies you do want to get the hell out of there really freaking fast thrusters don't you then again it's also got you know nice warp drives and everything in it so plenty of ways to get out of there really quickly it's also got plenty of turrets oh and a nice little uh, fighter in case you don't know, you want a distraction lure them away yes okay 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 stop admiring all the cool defenses and stuff Start going inside. Uh, this is the only way I've been able to figure out is the way in. Unless you want to say, go up through there where all the uh, miners are, or through the back door where the fighter is. Got some nice cool doors in every single airlock. It just hey, what the? Every single airlock door is like that. Although it's not normally fighting me like that. <laughs> okay, first thing, a spacesuit for going in and out. Here's the doorway to the fighter. Easy peasy, just walk down, in and out, the fighter. It's a fighter. Not too much to say about it, it's a fighter. Oh my god, stop fighting with me! <laughs> and straight away, you're straight into the cock. Why are all the doors fighting with me? Ah! <laughs> you got the cockpit. Ah. If you could get through all the doors, they weren't doing that beforehand, but they are now. <laughs> And uh, the first thing I noticed about the cockpit is, oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's nothing quite like a really well thought out cockpit. They're so hard to make, you know what I mean? So much detail to go in each and every single one of them. When you don't do much of a cockpit, it just looks plain and boring. But then when you actually have one that's well thought out, it's just magnificent. Oops, I forgot to turn it off. Absolutely magnificent, yes. Uh, Obviously, you got, you know all your information panels, everything you need for keeping track of everything you want, your gun receipts, your jump drive information, damage report, all that sort of stuff. Oh, this has PAM and IC's inventory manager because you know it's a mining ship and you want that sort of stuff in here. Nice big, whoops, patchy smatchy chair with GPS coordinates and stuff in there in case you need to Markers easily get to them and stuff like that. You know, lots of easy stuff. Make the cockpit as useful as possible. The bridge. Ah, I always say cockpit even though. Nah! Even though it's a bridge. Stupid bloody door. <laughs> okay, okay. Up here, first thing we have. Uh, which one's this? Uh, oh, this one's straight out to the. No. 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 Let me out. Okay. This one's out to the walkway with the minor drones. Or, not really drones, you can still use them, although when you turn them into PAMs, which you can turn them into PAMs, as you can see there, they are technically drones, but you know what I mean. They, you can either use them yourself or they're minor drones. Pretty cool, eh? As you've seen in my videos, I love PAM. Although, uh, from, well, everything I know of PAM, you will want to have I actually, I haven't seen her, because uh, Pam needs to be stuck to a solid object. Otherwise, Pam doesn't work quite right because it uses, you know, waypoints, GPS waypoints and stuff. So if 
there's not a landing gear on here. And you build... Oh, wait, there's a merge block down there. That'll work too. You need, you know, some way of locking down to an asteroid, you know, something solid. Otherwise, you know, your PAM ships aren't going to work too well. But yeah, you even want to throw a landing gear on here or just use that merge block down there and have a merge block on the asteroid. Easy peasy. Uh, in this door is uh, engineering. Engineering simple. It's just basically, you know, warp drives in here. Wait, no. It's, yeah, yeah, warp drives. Yeah, yeah. Definitely warp drives. For a moment there, I was like, wasn't it bigger than this? But no. The other room I'm thinking of, that's bigger than this. But this is where um, most of the warp drives are. The other room, I'm pretty sure I also saw warp drives in there, but I could be wrong. I could just be remembering it wrong. Okay. Uh, up here we got... Nope. Uh, this way? Okay, this one's an overview for the uh, mining drones. Probably also your PAM controller. Yeah, there we go. PAM controller. Uh, I don't know how it's set up. Everyone has their own personal preferences for the buttons that they want to set up for PAM, but you get the drift. If you've seen any of my videos with Pam in it, you understand how it works and how cool it is. Oh, it's so cool. One of these days I should probably make a video on how to use Pam, because I don't think I've ever seen one besides, you know, my normal videos of me trying to experiment with it and figure it out. Pam is so cool. In here is the living quarters. The, uh, awesome part of the ship. It's just so luxurious around here, you know? You get your tables, your kitchens. Your bedrooms, your med bays, your your showers. Where's that shower? Is this the shower? There you go. Toilets, showers, automated doors because you know you don't want people perving in. <laughs> or do you? <laughs> uh, I think these uh, rooms here as captain and co captain pilot, whatever you want to call them. Ah, I'm terrible at names. I'm, I'm, I, I'm not used to ships and stuff. I, I'm, I'm all solo. I work on my own. Who cares about names for stuff when you're just a lone wolf wandering around the universe? Nothing to do but, I don't know, just stuff. What do lone wolves do? <laughs> Over here is where you go. Wait, no, that's not it. I was going to say it's where you have all the bunk beds for sleeping in, but if they were sleeping in there, I'd be worried. No, it's next door over. See, here's your crew room with the bunk beds everyone sleeps in. It's definitely got no toilets in here and no showers. No one sleeps in toilets and showers. Uh, over here is the other engineering room I was thinking of. Um, oxygen. Oh, reactors. I could have sworn I remember seeing more water drives in here, but ah, I must have been wrong. Batteries. Place where you hide all the dead bodies. Uh, I mean, cryo. Yes, cryos. More of these. I think they're not in use. Yeah, not in use. And this one definitely is in use. It looks like the, you know, that mod thingy. So, yeah. <laughs> and then we got upstairs, which is, well, more luxurious stuff. Lots of luxurious stuff. Actually, I probably should turn this on when I came up here. Yoink! When did they put these things in the game? I never noticed. Probably one of the last updates. So cool. If I knew that it was in the game, because I read all the stuff, probably would have thrown it in my base or something like that, but no. I'm like, nope. Just don't even pay attention to what new stuff you get. You just buy the DLC and just don't pay attention to any of it. <laughs> Aren't I good? <laughs> but I do pay attention to it. I just must have not realized what I was reading. Uh, yeah, you got more luxurious stuff. Basically, this feels like a shopping area, except it's not a shopping area. Just a relaxation area. But then you got the relaxation area downstairs, so, uh... Not entirely sure why you need two relaxation areas. It's like I said, this feels a lot like a shopping area. Ah, I, I must be imagining things. Uh, the ship has, uh, four refineries, two assemblers... Oops, wrong door. Four refineries, two assemblers. Everything's on speed modules. I'm not a big fan of speed modules except on assemblers. I prefer them on, you know, I prefer for the refineries, I prefer the, uh, bleh. For the refineries, I prefer the yield modules. But yeah, everyone's got their own choices. So far, this looks like an awesome base ship, you know what I mean? Something that would really go great in survival. 
But like I said, this thing's got some serious speed to it thanks to these back thrusters. You know, you're going to get out of dodge real quick thanks to that if you're in an emergency situation. But also, this thing has a crazy amount of gyroscopes. Just look at this. Like, how many bloody refinery ships could say that they could do a bloody 360 that quickly? Most ships of this size struggle to be spinning around like this. This thing flips like it's a bloody fighter craft. It's just crazy. <laughs> Wee! That is so quick. If I saw a ship this big moving around in space like this, I'm not entirely sure how I'd feel, but I think I'd be panicking. Whoa, it feels like I'm going into warp. Uh, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I better stop before I throw up. Whoa, everything's still spinning. Please stop the spinning. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I don't have any uh, enemy military bases around here to go destroy. Maybe I should just ram into something planet side. Just for the funsies. See how durable this is. Geronimo! Listen to that calming, soothing music as we go to crash land. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Hey, I wonder if the uh, back thrusters are powerful enough to stop you from, well, slamming into the ground at full speed. Should flip this around and check. I mean, it might save your life if you know that, you know, your thrusters are powerful enough to save your life. Oops, dampeners are off. Oh my god! They are powerful enough! Oh, actually, we won't know until we reach max gravity, but so far, so good. <gasps> you could technically land this thing. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be upright, but you could technically land this thing. Of course, your problem with landing this thing is, you know, so long as it's empty and doesn't have any cargo in it. If it had any cargo in it, then you're in trouble. Okay, five kilometer mark, let's throw it on. Oh, turns out once you reach certain gravity, then it's not strong enough. Ah, well, one more large thruster would probably do the trick, but uh, clearly it's not enough. Ah, oh, well, flip, flip, flip. If it won't work that way, we'll just have to make it go faster and just misery faster. Whee! Hey, is it just me or this was like a halo gun? I swear it looks like a halo gun. Whee! Boom. Oh wow. That did not do much damage, did it? Well then I guess I suppose if you want to survive planet fall, just go head on. That's uh... Gonna cause the least amount of damage to your ship. Making it as easy as possible to repair. Nice! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Your perfect way to crash land is just ram it head on. Most of the uh, good stuff is in the back end of the ship anyway. Pretty sure when I was looking at the insides, it was mainly, uh, mainly gyroscopes and stuff in the front end of the ship. So yeah, you don't have to worry about losing too much if you ram it like this. That is so cool looking. Just look at it! Oh my god, it looks like a giant alien building. That gives me ideas for shapes for a base, doesn't it? It looks so cool. Like a giant work of art. I think this is where it shall rest. It's so beautiful. Is it just me or am I standing a little crooked? I think I am. Meh! <laughs> So guys, this ship has been really super awesome, really cool looking, I mean like, the amount of effort Oxbow must have taken into putting into this thing, so much and so beautiful looking, I love it to pieces, and totally recommend it if you want say, well, if you want a mobile refinery in space, or even just a mobile base, it's super cool, and if you enjoyed it, well, you know what to do, you hit that like and subscribe button, or share it with your friends, otherwise I'll see you all next time, bye! Eee. That is so quick. If I saw a ship this big moving around in space like this, I'm not entirely sure how I'd feel, but I think I'd be panicking. Whoa, it feels like I'm going into warp. Uh, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I better stop before I throw up. Whoa, everything's still spinning. Please stop the spinning.